Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. All right, hello YouTube. Uh, it's March 21st, 2015, and my son's birthday is in seven days, but I won't be able to see him that day, so I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate his birthday today. And uh, I, gave, I got him a uh, few things. One thing being a rocket. I went to Hobby Lobby and got a rocket called Freefall. I didn't know much about rockets. Uh, I just figured this pack was enough, but uh, my son Sebastian Horn is going to be eight years old, so this is a celebration. We're going to make a video of us uh, doing a rocket and uh, launching it, and uh, we'll kind of tell anybody that hasn't ever done it before what we learned and what you might need to uh, get it done. So, um, I found out uh, when I bought this when I bought this pack. It says. Requires engines, starters, recovery, wadding, and launch system not included. I did not know that, so I went back to uh, went back to Hobby Lobby, and uh, they said that they said that buying the all the extra stuff would be very expensive. So the best thing to do would be get a starter pack, which is a. Uh, it's a rocket in itself, and it already has the launch system. It has a launch system and has uh, the um, igni igniter, and, have, and all you have to do is buy the engines, which these are considered the engines. I have three of them, engines and igniters too. And this this is all you supposedly need, plus some glue and tape. So I plan on taking this one back if I can, if I can find the receipt. So. We're gonna put it together, and then, uh, and then we're gonna launch it today or tomorrow, depending on the wind and if we can find a spot. So. absolute worst directions I have ever read in my entire life so have a your computer handy if you want to figure out how to do it they they tell you how to do it in like five or six different places all at once so I'm pretty sure I got it all together um, it might just explode when we when it takes off the uh, parachute might not come out but uh, it's supposed to go uh, 950 feet we got one of the smaller engines, so I doubt it goes that high. But 
it comes with different engines, but we're going to try it. Uh, I don't know exactly where we're going to do it at, but it might be right here in the backyard, right here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, or down the road. But it's also got a launch pad. I'm not going to waste the time to videotape me putting that together because I'll probably uh, be screaming and stuff because this was very aggravating. But I'm pretty sure we got it put together right. And uh, this right here is the launch pad. It's going to have some wires going to this, and it's going to have a little trigger, and uh, it's going to go up. Uh, sit on one of these poles and shoot up hopefully. We'll try to videotape all of that. So happy birthday to my son Sebastian, eight years old. All right, we're in Bowling Green. I decided just to do it in our backyard. Hopefully we don't get in trouble for it. Sebastian's got his goggles on, a little safety thing. And he's got the launch pad. So here we go. All right, ready? Push the thing in real hard and just hold it down. Go for it. Oh God, where'd he go? <laughs> there it is. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. It fell, the, it came apart. <laughs> uh, this is Houston, uh, say again please. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> There's part of it right there. I'll get it. Just watch that part. That's perfect. All right, we got another one way up there. It's coming down. Just keep watching it. It might land over in the highway. You're right there. Just go get that one piece. I think we lost the other one. Yeah, it's going over the highway. <laughs> Oh, what part came down? Huh? Show me what part came down. Hey, where is it? It's way over. Where is it? I think it's going to land on that ball field over there. We'll go over and see if we can find it. Is it far away? Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we, uh, that's what we had left after our first rocket launch. Apparently the rubber band broke or we didn't do it right. I'm sure we just didn't do it right, but. No, it just came off. Yeah. All right, so we uh, had to drive all the way across the road to, uh, we live right over there at those apartments. That's where we were when we launched it. And we found our parachute and top right there across this fence. Uh, I'm gonna jump the fence. And uh, I'm gonna get it. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Here. Go ahead and just try to record me. You got it? Yeah. Oh, I think it's a successful launch. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and record in case I fall and die. You have one last memory of me. <laughs> Ow. All right. So this is the end of our video. And uh, what we learned is it's not real easy to put a rocket together. <laughs> yeah, the uh, instructions are terrible. So... You just pretty much got to do it the way you uh, can find on the internet and just common sense. And tie your rubber band a little tighter than I did or it'll come apart and you'll have to go across the highway. But happy <laughs> birthday, bud. See y'all.